Hello everyone. It's been a long time since I have uploaded content on my channel. I know, sorry about that. Being busy a lot. But uh, those who are seeing this video for the first time or do, they don't know about me. My name is Vidan and I have six years of experience as a front-end engineer. And uh, previously I have worked with big brands like uh, Mintra, Disney Hotstar and currently working with Coursera. So I know what it takes uh, to crack big brands like this. And my goal for today's video is the same as well that I want to make sure that you also crack better companies, good companies, and you make good living out of that as well. So coming straight to the point. I decided that since we are coming uh, to the end of this year and I have got some time to spare, so I decided why not try something new and take live classes. I haven't taken live classes before, uh, so this is my you know first endeavor here uh, of live classes. I had chosen TopMed for it, like because the UI was really seamless and easy to integrate. But coming straight to topic, we'll be covering JavaScript. Uh, so. Be speaking honestly, uh, JavaScript has been my weapon in cracking front-end interviews and uh, JavaScript has been asked a lot, is being asked a lot as well into the interviews. No matter uh, the company wants you to write Angular or React or Next.js, the core foundation will always be JavaScript and they will test your foundations medium level and advanced level JavaScript into the interviews. So it is really important for you to know beginner, medium and advanced level JavaScript concepts, their tricks and tips around it and what other types of questions asked around those concepts as well. So it's really important that you know these concepts by heart. And that is why I have created these four live classes. There would be 300 seats. Like I'll talk about the meta of this. Uh, live class, there would be 300 seats. The language of this live class would be English and we'll be covering, we'll be having four live classes. So just click on this link that is in the description or in the comments. Just this is a top mid link. Click on this card and you'll find the curriculum. But let's talk about the uh, mode of classes. It would be a live class. I don't know if recording would be made available to you all for lifetime access because I haven't tried it yet because this is the first time I am having a live class, especially on top mid. So I don't know if recording will made will be made available. I tried checking the settings, but I couldn't find any. So I'm really skeptical if you will find any recording afterwards. So make sure you, if you enroll, make sure you join the class. If you miss that, I can't really guarantee anything to you if you miss that because that's how the they have designed the system. But anyways, there would be four classes. First class will be on uh, 25th of December, that is Thursday, 8 p.m. 8 to 9 will be our schedule for the next four days, starting 25th, 26th, 27th, and 28th. That is also, I try to finish off all these, all the chapters of the curriculum within four days. Little ambitious target, but I think I should be able to cover that. But let's talk about the topics that we'll be covering. This is very similar to what I have published a long time in my book. Those who don't know, yeah, I have it in the book, but you guys didn't notice that. Anyways, so JavaScript foundations, like you are the pilot, you should know how the aircraft works. So this is that, like you have to understand the, what is JavaScript, V8 engines, call stack memory, uh, overflow garbage, memory leaks, single thread, what is the runtime and some things about, about Node.js, not exactly entire Node.js, we'll just Overall, see like how Node.js comes into the picture when it alongside with JavaScript. Okay, so we have a uh, next chapter that is JavaScript foundations. We have, we will cover execution context, hosting functions, arguments, variable environment, scope, chain function, and this keyword call apply and find. Yeah, most of the topics over that are mentioned here are frequently asked in interviews as well. So very crucial chapter. Then we have JavaScript types, pass by reference, pass by value, questions. Many uh, junior to mid-level seniors often confuse in pass by reference and pass by value and how it works. So it's really, we'll make sure that that is not the case with you. Then we have important topics like closures and prototypes often asked in interviews as well. And this is a part where people often get confused. 
Then we have everyone's favorite that is asynchronous programming. How async works, promises, async await, job queue, and parallel sequence and race. Covered that, this is everything you need to crack interviews. I think, yeah, there are some topics around oops as well, but uh, I don't think that is very necessary. Like, oops is something agnostics, agnostic of any language, right? They have a concept of classes, constructors, getters, and setters. It is present in every language. It is not just related to JavaScript. My goal over here is to cover topics that are very specific to JavaScript and uh, that are most frequently asked and that can actually sharpen your skills and make you a better engineer. By the end of this curriculum, by the end, after finishing and the entire life class, you should be in a position to confidently uh, give interviews. Uh, you should not feel afraid on any of these topics and you should have learn these topics by heart and obviously if, if these all three factors are there i'm pretty confident that you should be able to crack better companies and land good jobs i cannot actually promise this like this is going to guarantee a job for you because anyone who does that is not always true no one can uh, guarantee a job from someone's behalf like it's ethically wrong as well Right. So I'm not committing anything or giving, uh, you know, a fan, uh, showing you fancy dreams and all, but let's stick to the ground, focus on what we can do. Getting a good job or not is uh, something that is that depends on the indi individual level and uh, it cannot be generalized for everyone. Like everyone who enrolls in certain courses guaranteed a certain job. That is very, very big misconception and doesn't happen for everyone. So goal is you become a better engineer be you are in college or you are a sd1 or sd2 you should be aware of this concept you should be feel confident and if anyone asks you these topics in interview you should be able to give concrete answers and without fumbling on anything so that is my agenda and if if you do all these things i am pretty sure that good interviews good offers will land your way automatically so that is what I uh, am aiming for for you all. Better concepts, better understanding and a lot of confidence. So that is all I think. And yeah, this is not if you if you are not able to enroll, like you may have some issues going on, you're not free. I'll retake these classes based on the response. Uh, maybe next year in January or February once I find free time because beta free and abhi was zituri hai like i am not always free so abhi mai free hu wa hu so take this opportunity wisely enroll in this uh, cohort learn from me and let's have a lot of chats on on the live classes as well so it should be a lot of fun like it's not typical boring class that i want to uh, uh, have like I'm just ja and so no it has to be fun lot of enthusiasm lot of energy so that is all I wanted to cover so just enroll see see the timing see if it suits you see the pricing see the syllabus if you are feeling comfortable just enroll and have faith on that's all I can say so see you directly into the cohort take care bye bye